Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Moon Music Center 100 KQ and A. Happy birthday to you. Oh, cheers! 100 K! Uffle Buff wants to get out of here. Guys, we made it! I knew we'd make it. Such a joy. What a pleasure. What a what a feast of emotions. Guys, we have so many questions to answer. So many thanks to give. So many weens to hallow. Okay, so actually we have like a lot of work we need to do. This isn't gonna be nearly as fun as I thought it was gonna be. I am so excited and deathly afraid to make this question and answer session video for all of you, my subscribers on this day. I should tell you, I also did a question and answer session at 25,000 subscribers. Many of the questions that I received for this q and I also received for that one. Um, so you might, you might wanna go check out that video as well. It, it, probably if you search for like, Marin Music 25K Q&A? No, I'll just put the link here. I ain't in the description. <laughs> no, you're fired. Some of the questions I will repeat in this Q&A, other ones I'm just gonna ignore completely. You can go see them in the other video. Guys, let's start it off nice and simple. Here we go. What is your biggest regret? It's a great question. My biggest regret is that my proposal to my wife sucked. It like was barely even a proposal. Um, so let's make up for it right now. You ready? I don't have a ring. I'll have my ring. I'll use my ring. Uh, Samantha, my wife of 13 years. It was close. Uh, will you marry me? I, was make, I wasn't even making eye contact. It was terrible. This is worse than the first one. Well, sorry, Samantha, I tried. Okay, so moving on. What's your go-to breakfast for a great day? Guys, it's gotta be oatmeal. What do I do with the oatmeal? Um, you didn't ask me what I did with the oatmeal, I just asked myself that. I'm still recovering from, I got pretty nervous from that proposal. What do you think she's gonna say, you guys? Ow! Okay. What song did you hate learning at first that got better over time? Or maybe it became a favorite? My answer to this is Hotel California. I actually used to despise the Eagles. I thought they were so boring. They might still be a little boring. Oh no, it says okay. <laughs> That's the wrong side. Okay, there we go. What's your favorite? Party trick guitar song. Thanks for asking. Probably Hearts and Bones by Paul Simone. It goes like this. I don't really call them party trick songs. I call them guitar store songs. Almost threw my guitar on the ground. Did you see that? Okay, computer or in rainbows? Great question. Okay, computer. In rainbows is growing on me quite a bit, but gotta be okay, computers. <laughs> okay. How was your time in the cesspit of high school, guys? I hated it. It was and nothing even especially bad happened. Like I wasn't bullied. I just got bad grades and I didn't have any self esteem and uh, I didn't have any friends and it sucked. And I was really into jazz at the time, but I wasn't actually into it. I just pretended I was into it for some reason. So, it, I'm, it, I, I, literally every day of my life, I, when I was some, at some point in the day, I go, today I am grateful that I don't have to go to high school or do any of that homework. College I loved. I loved college, guys. Stay in school. How soon after learning a song to teach us do you completely forget it? Or do you remember some more than others, maybe? Yeah, I remember some more than others. Basically, it goes like this. The harder the song, the longer and more thoroughly I remember it, the easier it is, the quicker I forget it. So like, Aurorian Dance, I think I still can probably play note for note. But then like, Fade Into You, Fade Into Me, the Mazzy Star song. I see. I literally forget the name of the song, and I do not remember any of it. And it's just like three chords the entire time. What's your favorite hip hop album? Probably Marshall Mathers LP by Eminem. One of the greatest selling albums of all time. It's a boring answer, but it's it's just so good, you guys. I okay. I did. I have to tell you. I once was teaching a like a little kid rock band camp with like seven and eight year olds. And um, I excused myself to go to the bathroom for a moment and I set my phone down. And as I was walking out of the room, 
I heard from my phone the beginning of the song Kim by Eminem. I, I must, I like accidentally pressed play as I set my phone down. And at the last second, I noticed it, but I almost played one of the most horrific songs of all time for a group of little kids. Got out of that one by the, by the skin of my teeth. I think that's, I think I got that expression right. Why haven't you ever done a tutorial on changing strings? Guys, I'm gonna do it, okay? It's just, it sounds like a lot of work. I don't know. I, I have tips for it too. I have a lot of good things. I'm gonna do a whole setup guitar tutorial. It's gonna be great. I just don't want to, so I'm putting it off. Look, okay, guys, look at this page right here. I don't understand what's happening. Was this a question or was this, um, we are a collection of thoughts and skin and bones. Do you play any video games? And if so, what do you play? I do not play any video games. Here's the deal though. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on, doing Trump hands. The reason I do not play video games is not because I do not enjoy them. It's because my life would be over if I played video games. I, there, I, there are, there are, I will tell you this. There are a handful of games that nearly destroyed me. World of Warcraft, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Resident Evil 4, Skyrim, Mario Power Tennis. That might be it. I mean, I've played other games, idiot. But those are the ones that uh, made me go, this is a problem. This is a problem. So there we go. Here's what I'm hoping. Here's what I'm hoping happens, guys. In the, in the next one to 17 years between now and when the next Elder Scrolls game comes out, I will have conquered my emotional video game demons and then I'll buy whatever system that exists on and I will buy it and I will play it and it will be a good time. Can you teach us a little music theory here and there? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I love, the truth is, I love talking about music theory. I, and not to float my own horn here, but I kind of know a lot about it. Have you ever met any singer or artist whose song you have created a tutorial for? Has any artist seen your videos? I have not met any of the musical artists that I've made tutorials for their songs of for at this time. I have had a couple comments from a couple of them on some videos that was very kind, very nice. It was very touching, a sweet moment. Um, but to be fair, I haven't really reached out to anyone. I guess I'm hoping I'm just like walking down the street and I run into Alex G and he goes, hey, and I go, yo. And we'll do a quick little video together, maybe record an album together, you know. That kind of thing. I think that's was probably the most realistic scenario. What was the question? Did you ever doubt pursuing a career in music? Was it always something you wanted to do throughout your life? Was there any other career paths that you thought about at some point? Yes. To, uh, wait, what was, uh... Yes, it was always something I wanted. Yes, I have doubted it many times. Yes, there were other career paths I thought about. I am fortunate I have been able to make it work. There have been a lot of struggles in the journey of music career for this person. Stuart is me. Hi, my name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. I considered being a comic book writer. I still actually secretly would like to be a comic book writer. That's how I... Okay, can I tell you something I've never told anyone before? Don't tell, don't tell anybody. Um... I, the way that I get myself to fall asleep at night is I is I write comic book stories in my head and then I go like someday Marvel Comics is gonna go hey did you want to write a Silver Surfer story and I'm gonna go actually yeah and I have some really good ideas for it that's did that make sense what I just said who was the greatest teacher you've ever had and what made you interested in becoming a teacher well, what a great question I've had many great music teachers in my, I'm narrowing it down to music. So music teachers only, I am not going to choose the greatest. Um, I don't think I could, and I just really don't want to. Um, but I will tell you three of the most important teachers for me. One was Emily Gates, my high school music teacher, because she just encouraged everybody to do a bunch of music stuff. That's the biggest thing. It was just, oh, there's a musical. Oh, there's a, th you're, yeah, you're gonna dance in this. Okay, it's time for you to sing. You're gonna play, oh, you wanna play guitar on this? Do that, sure, play piano. It was just a whole lot of music. And I had two college teachers that had a profound impact on me. One was David Ickes, my ear training teacher at San Francisco State. The reason why is he just, had such attention to detail and he insisted 
that we have that same attention to detail. He didn't insist it. He just would give us a bad grade if we didn't have it. But I would say my biggest uh, teacher, he wasn't big. He was a normal size. The, my biggest inspiration from, from a teacher was from my private bass teacher at Berklee College of Music, Whit Brown. He great bass player. The big thing I got from him though, so I was really nervous and shy in my lessons with him. And he put a lot of energy into teaching me stuff. He also put a lot of energy into just trying to get me to relax and open up and laugh and just enjoy the experience. And guys, believe it or not, that's kind of something that I think has rubbed off on me a little bit. I'm just gonna skip over the part about what made you interested in becoming a teacher. Don't really have a good answer for that. Who is your favorite music genre? That's not what it says. It says, what is your favorite music genre? Do you like everything you make a tutorial for or listen to different things? What a great question. Guys, my favorite is 90s rock. I'm a 90s kid. I like 90s rock. I like Weather. I like uh, Nirvana. I like Nine Inch Nails. Um, I like Deftones. I like Radiohead. I like lots of music. Probably more than you. I've been alive longer. Unless you're older than I am. In which case, you've been alive longer, but I still probably like more music than you because, you know, I mean, come on. I got a guitar YouTube channel for crying out loud. How many do you have? You might have one. I don't know. You got really defensive with this one, guys. I would say I would look into what's going on inside your head that made you that made you respond like this. My main criteria for choosing songs to do tutorials is I need to like the song and I need to like playing the song. So I so yes, I do enjoy all of the artists that I make tutorials for, with one exception. There's one artist that I've done at least one tutorial for that I that I really do not care for. There are only two people on the planet who know who that artist is. One of the great mysteries of Marin Music Center. I was wondering if there was a song or band or moment that inspired you to pick up the guitar for the first time. How did you get into music? When did you start playing? Guys, I started in middle school, sixth grade. Um, I mean, it was like Nirvana and Pearl Jam and Red Hot Chili Peppers kind of got music into my brain. I was like, all right, I'm interested in this, but it wasn't until I heard Long View by Green Day that I went, wait a minute. Okay, I can get on board with this. And But then when I heard Basket Case by Green Day, I was like, that's it. That's it, I'm playing guitar. And then I played guitar for like two seconds, gave up completely because the chords were too hard. And then I started playing bass. And then I drifted back to guitar, but I still play bass all the time, guys. I love the bass. Come on, Mike Durnt from Green Day. He's got that big orange bass in the music video. It's a great time. Did I answer the question? Oh, also, I will say there was one more moment that I remember that, that kind of fired my buns um, with guitar. It was watching my dad play Walk Don't Run on the guitar. Walk Don't Run? Is it Run Don't Walk? No, it's Walk Don't Run. What rock band calls their song Walk Don't Run? Don't play with matches. No running by the pool. These are all great song titles, guys. And I remember hearing him play it. I'm like, okay, that actually, even though it's an old song, it sounds pretty cool. And it doesn't look that hard. I think I can learn that. So as I said, fired my buns right on up, guys. Okay, many people have asked, what's, what's the meaning of your name, Marin Music Center? Other people say, how do you like working at Marin Music Center? What's your role at Marin Music Center? Is this, is this channel part of the Marin Music Center stores business or is this your private thing? Guys, all of your questions about the Marin Music Center are going to be answered right now. Once upon a time, many years ago, in the county of Marin, there was a music store called Marin Music Center. It sold clarinet reeds, trumpet mouthpieces. It rented violins and flutes, also trombones. At a one point, a young lad, man, a person named Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown began teaching guitar at that store. Then, many a years later, that very same Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown bought the Moran Music Center for an undisclosed amount out of court and ran that music store as his own because it was his own. During that time, that young man went, oh, well, running a music store is pretty terrible. And so he started a YouTube channel as a way to bring some sort of joy into his life. 
And uh, here, there too untold, the music store was put aside and the, and the, the YouTube channel is all that remains. That was a weird way of telling that story. Without getting too much into the personal details of it, I had a music store called Marine Music Center. I started this YouTube channel. The channel got bigger. The store got smaller. Kind of just because of the way of the world and COVID and everything. Partly because of where my interests were and where my passions were. And so this channel is, is just me. It's just me. My wife helps out with some... Well, when I have... When I... Um... When I need it with emotional support, my wife helps out. And, um, what was I talking about? Do you ever find songs so difficult that you give up halfway through learning them? You're a lot more experienced than me. Hmm, grammar. Uh, but I do that so often. How do you stay motivated to learn the whole song? Sorry that I picked on your grammar for n no reason. Yes. I have given up on in the middle of songs, none specifically for the YouTube tutorial. Learning 16 Mirrors by Alex G was really tough. There are no live videos, so I could not like see what tuning he was in or anything. There's a lot of guitars layered on top of each other, so it was just kind of a mess to figure out. So that one I got very frustrated with, but it was also a song that so many people wanted to learn, and it was such a cool, weird song. I was very happy when I finally cracked that one. Just songs learning for myself. I've tried to learn a bunch of Chet Atkins songs. Chet Atkins? Atkins. Atkins. Atkins diet. Aitken, Atkins. Clay Aiken. Chet Atkins. Final answer. I really would love to learn like three Chet Atkins songs people will play, but they're just so hard. And they're so fast. And then I'll, and then there's like, I'll never be able to play like Van Halen stuff, but I don't really want to. Like the shredding kind of stuff, I, I don't, I, I feel like it's not in me. I think if I, uh, let's leave it at that. Uh, and that's, speaking of which, someone asked, are you ever going to do metal tutorials? Can, can Stuart shred? The answer is, no. I do like metal. Back in my younger days, I really loved death metal. Listen to Napalm Death, Morbid Angel, Obituary. Guys, remember Obituary? You're like, no, never heard of Obituary. Um, but I can't really play that style. It's just, I don't have a seven string. I don't like tuning down. I'll probably do some Metallica tutorials at some point because I probably not. I don't know. Well, We've reached that point in the video where I stopped trying. On that same topic of learning songs, um, a lot of questions about how do I learn the songs? How long does it take to learn a song? Do I use tabs? Do I, how do I, how do I do it? Great questions. Oh, guys, you're really knocking it out of the park with these questions. Usually it takes me, I would say between 15 minutes to an hour to learn most of the songs. I have a pretty good ear. I do, I look up live videos to see where their hands are to help me like just see their general approach to the song and to confirm what tuning they're in. But it's pretty much just all by ear. There are so many tricks when it comes to learning things by ear. Too many to talk about right now. I'll probably make a video or two or three about it sometime in the future. But for now, I would say if you're trying to learn songs by ear, it's the same as anything else. You just have to practice. You just have to over and over again try to learn songs by ear. Learn songs by ear. And memorize them. Memorize songs. As you're learning them by ear, don't write them down. Memorize them. That's going to help with your ear training. I don't really understand why, but it does. I promise. How many pounds have you gained over the last three months? I wrote this question to myself, you guys. It's true. I've gained like, I've gained like four pounds. It's fine. I'm bulking. Do you play D&D? &D? I used to. I did in uh, middle school and then a little bit right after high school, I played D&D. But I also played Vampire the Masquerade, which was just a, a dorkier version of Dungeons and Dragons somehow. I had a really cool play group where we didn't like have the actual like board and move players around. We also, we didn't, we just didn't really worry about the numbers very much. It was really just about improvising a story together. And our dungeon master didn't award experience based on the monsters we killed, but on how committed and true to our characters we were. So that kind of basically, it practically wasn't D&D for that reason. But I mean, you know, we picked classes and everything. So, hi. What do you think is the most underrated instrument that should be used in more songs? My, I have a runner up, which is banjo. I've wanted to learn banjo for quite a while. I have one, it's just sitting in my office. Not doing anything. It's pathetic. I don't even try. Worthless piece of trash. Um, but the main one, 
It's a Fender Rhodes, guys. It's a really cool electric piano. You'd recognize the sound of it if you don't recognize the name of it. I might, might, I don't know. I might like the sound of the Fender Rhodes overall slightly more than the sound of guitar. Probably not. I'm just, I don't think that's true. You ever been to a wedding? Who was it who got married? Your aunt? How was it? Was it nice? Can you still do impressions? Psst. Of course I can still do impressions. I'll do them right now. Okay, who's this? Who's this? <clears throat> I have no memory of this place. Fly, you fools. Gandalf, Gandalf the Grey. Okay, how about this one? Hmm, I'm Potter, Harry Potter, yes, quite. Hmm, oh, potions. That's right, Severus Snape. One more, you say? Okay, I'll give you one more. All right, here we go, here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Owen Wilson, perfect, nailed it. Moving on. If you could only listen to five albums for the rest of your life, which would you choose? I'm gonna go with Pinkerton by Weezer. I'm gonna go with Abbey Road by the Bialis. I'm gonna go with Sinatra Live at the Sands by Frank Sinatra. Radiohead, but it's not gonna be the Benz. It's not gonna be OK Computer. It's gonna be Hail to the Thief, guys. These are not my favorite albums. They're just the ones that I feel like I would wanna listen to a bunch of times. One more, we're gonna go with, I feel like it should be like classical or jazz or something that's not rock. The Rent soundtrack. This person says, I know it may be way too personal. You don't have to answer this question if you're not comfortable with it. What's your favorite color? This person said fancy yellow. Oh no, wait, they said they fancy yellow. They're like English or something. Uh, I thought they liked fancy yellow, the color. This is bad, this is bad, guys. This is the, my favorite color is brown. It's just the way it is. What was your first guitar? It was an Ibanez Art Star. It was like a semi hollow body, guitar. I had it for quite a while. I sold it, I would say, about five years ago, four years ago, four and a half, three and a half years ago I sold it. And now it's gone. What's your current favorite song? My current favorite song is really, it's kind of a guilty pleasure song, but guys, it pumps me up. It's a song called Aquaman by Walk the Moon. I don't know. I just put it on when I'm making dinner and I'm like, life is good. What is your all time favorite song in 1979 by Smashing Pumpkins? I'm embarrassed by that Aquaman thing. You guys are going to go listen to it and you're going to go like, what the heck? Do you like live music and what's your top three for movies, books, and album covers? Wow. That's a jam-packed thing there. Do I like live music? I used to live for live music. I would go to all the festivals, outside lands, Coachella, you name it, we got it, guys. I used to go to concerts that would end at two o'clock on a school night when I was in high school. It was the best. And then what happened is I got old and all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to stand up for two and a half hours? Movies, top three favorite movies. I'm not gonna put them in order. Nah, these are in order. Okay, my favorite's Fellowship of the Ring. I just love it. I like Donnie Darko a lot. I also like this, uh, I like As Above, So Below. It's a horror movie that's really corny, but it's just such an adventure, you guys. As Above, So Below. The first time I watched it, I, I literally just started it over as soon as it finished, and then the next day, I watched it again. Favorite books. I haven't read a lot of books, if we're being totally honest. They're, the Lord of the Rings books are not my favorite books. Oh, shoot. I forgot about Harry Potter. Guys, I love Harry Potter, but I forgot about them, so they're not on the list. There's a book called The Time Traveler's Wife that I absolutely love. Uh, Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut, guys. And then Catcher in the Rye. Do you know what all these books have in common? They're all very easy to read. I feel like they're all like a, like a sixth grade reading level. All right. Uh, moving on. Have you ever tried writing your own music and lyrics? If so, is there any chance we can hear it? Yeah, I have. I love writing my own music. I've, the, the, my favorite bands I've been in have done almost all original music. Yes, you will be able to hear it at some point, but not now. Do you like Stratocasters or Telecasters more? This is a tough one because I like how Telecasters look more, but I like how Stratocasters feel more. The sound I think is about even. I love like they're they're just Okay, moving on. Any advice on how to keep practicing guitar? I love playing. I've just lost motivation and keep trying to pick it back up, but it doesn't really feel the same anymore, I guess. Guy, I've been there. I've been there. I know what it's like. Um I think you need a, a project. It sounds to me like for a while you were just excited to play guitar 
And now just playing guitar on its own doesn't do it and you need something else to go along with it. That might be recording an album of songs. It might be joining a band. It, it might be as simple as just learning a new song or maybe learning a new style. Maybe you start playing some classical guitar. I don't know, but it, what it sounds like to me is probably it's not about practicing more. It's probably not about a strict practice schedule. It's probably about adding a whole new element. My recommendation, this one's tough. This one's scary. It's tough. I would really consider signing up for like an open mic night and you have to prepare like two songs to do for it. That's terrifying. I know you don't just consider it. Just think about it. Think about it. And the next time you play guitar, go, what if I was getting ready for a performance like that? How would I feel about it? What's your favorite band and why is it Radiohead? Good one. I, it is Radiohead, so good job. What's your favorite genre? What's your favorite guitar? And will you please do some tutorials on math rock songs? No, because I don't really understand math rock. It sounds hard. Favorite genre, 90s rock, uh, favorite guitar. I, okay, where is, guys, just a second. This isn't my favorite guitar, but I need to talk about this guitar for a second. This is a Yamaha Revstar, guys. It's like 500 bucks. It's not that expensive. And it's, I, it feels better than a Les Paul to me, and it's more versatile than a Stratocaster. I'm not saying that this guitar is better than like a legit made in America Stratocaster, but this is a this is a good guitar. Do you have any other way to support you and or your channel? What an incredibly kind question. For now, just liking and subscribing and telling your friends and leaving comments and watching and all that stuff. It's, that means so much. It means so much to me and it helps the channel grow so much. So if you can do that, that is so much support and I appreciate every little speck of it. That being said, as the channel grows, I will probably offer some additional things. Like I'll, I'll have merch at some point and we'll, we'll, we'll see what else comes up. However, what sounded suspicious? comes up what do you mean what do you talk what do you know that i don't know but the main focus of this channel is always going to be putting out consistent free song tutorials there's lots more is coming but that's not going to change at all and that the biggest way you can support it is just to keep watching those videos if hufflepuff would not be a hufflepuff would hufflepuff ever be a hufflepuff would she be a teacher or a student of hogwarts Really good question. I can't understand this question. So I'm just gonna go get Hufflepuff and put her in front of the camera for a second. She's had a very long day. She had to go to the dog park. She had to get a bath. So she's a little grumpy. I just woke her up from a nap. Hufflepuff, if you couldn't be a Hufflepuff, would you be a Hufflepuff or a Hufflepuff? She would never be able to be a teacher at Hogwarts. She couldn't be a student. She's. She's far too delicate for that. If you could go on tour as the guitarist for any artist or band, alive or dead, who would it be? Guys, Nine Inch Nails. I haven't really talked about Nine Inch Nails, but when I was in middle school, they were just my favorite band of all time. They would just be such a lifelong dream if I got to play with Nine Inch Nails. Trent Reznor, let's make it happen. Call me. Do you know, uh, my number is 816-548-321-765-4321. Guys, it's getting late and there's so many things I need to do and I still have some more. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a speed round. What is your most despised, hated chord? It's the B flat, the B flat chord. If you could go back, either back in time or to Mars, which would you choose and why? These are both things that I would like to do, but it's gotta be back in time. I would like to discover time travel. I mean, it already exists. We're all traveling forward in time all the time. And with relativity and everything, I think there is some, um, I have heard that when two black holes are involved and you go between them, there is the possibility of going back in time, a minuscule amount, but also you'd be like ripped to individual molecules and back in time is my answer. What do your notes look like for video tutorials? I was supposed to bring one of my notes. Do I have one with me? What do I have? Aha, found one. All right. This is one I haven't done yet. Shocker, uh, spoiler alert. There's, I'm gonna do exit music for a film. These are what my notes look like. 
they're just like the basic chords and then it'll say like times two and it'll just say where the capo is so it's just a reminder for me to know remember sort of what happens in the song what's your favorite movie soundtrack probably the lost highway soundtrack the movie itself is practically unwatchable but the soundtrack is great what's your worst mess up during a performance um fortunately I have not done too many horrific mess ups and most of my bad mess ups have been on bass where you where you can't really tell I, the I, my biggest almost mess up is I was playing one of the biggest rock shows I've ever done it was the Uproar Festival like Alice in Chains and what other bands Coed and Cambria were playing at the festival and I was like all right I'm bringing the energy I'm all pumped up and as I like took these big steps back during a big part of a song and then my foot just hit my amp. I didn't realize where my amp was. And I started to fall over. And this was like in front of the biggest crowd on this big stage. I was like positive. I was just going to full on fall over. But I caught my balance at the last minute. And it made the story completely boring. Big dog or small dog? Which do you like better? Guys, come on. Give me a break. Did you not see when Hufflepuff was in here? I like small dogs. But the truth is, I think whatever kind of dog... I. I think that my heart is very open, and I think that whatever creature looks at me and goes, I love you, take care of me, and love me, I think I'm just going to love that. It could be a giant dog, it could be a cat, it could be a bear, it could be an alligator. Do you still put carbonated water in your coffee? Yes. How do you sing and play guitar at the same time? This is a bigger thing than just something I can answer in a lightning round. But here's one big thing I will say. The trick with singing and playing at the same time is to keep this pendulum motion going over here. If your hand or arm is going like, where it's kind of starting and stopping, then you're screwed. You gotta have this pendulum motion. If you're finger picking, then you've gotta have like a steady thumb rhythm going. So basically what I'm trying to say is you just need a consistent movement with this hand to be able to sing and play at the same time. That's the biggest tip I can give, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, as they say on the Titanic. How do you find love purpose in life? Hmm. Um, start a YouTube channel. Have you ever done personal guitar teaching or did you start with online videos? I have been teaching one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons for like 14 years, I believe, guys. And then I did Zoom lessons during COVID. Still do Zoom lessons now, guys. Always gotta do Zoom lessons, come on. Also, also, Yamaha Pacifica 012112, yes or no? Oh yeah, they're good. They're those the Yamaha Pacificas are like the entry-level Yamahas that are sort of like the Squire Strats. They're good, but they're are not as good as that Revstar, but they're also like half the price of the Revstar. They're good, they're not amazing. What do you put on your toast? Uh, I dip my toast in olive oil with salt in it. Salt is my favorite food, guys. I could just eat salt. What's your favorite band song you have learned from a viewer suggestion in a comment section? I'm gonna say the answer to that is Need To by Pine Grove. That song is a mystical, haunting song. Would you ever like to make a different type of content besides guitar, like vlogging or something? I really enjoy videos like these. I would like to, I, what I would really like to do is make songwriting videos. So I think it would be really fun to like, do some like songwriting, like instructional videos, but then also have like, a songwriting community like a club or a challenge where different people submit their songs and we listen to them i think that would be fun but i haven't quite worked it out yet we're almost done i heard a weird noise though and i'm afraid that a ghost might be breaking into my house here we go really fast if you're getting in hogwarts what house will you be in and who would be your best friend i would be a hufflepuff and my best friend would be neville longbottom i know he's a gryffindor but whatever he can still hang out with a hufflepuff why do you always wear sunglasses during your videos i'm not a vampire I'm not a vampire. Do you think music has gotten better or worse since the 80s, 90s? Okay, so here's the deal. I think it's stayed exactly the same. It hasn't stayed the same, it has changed. The, the thing is, every decade that goes by, we're, we, only, we, we only listen to the songs that were like, that like, uh, that's, that, that, um, it's staying the same. I don't know. There's good songs and there's bad songs all the time. Explain your history in two minutes. Come on, bruh. Uh, okay, so when I was a little kid, I just had no identity. All through elementary school, I didn't know who I was or what I was doing or anything. Just didn't even matter. I just wanted to play Nintendo and 
eat bread. Uh, then when I got into middle school, I discovered rock music and that gave me uh, a whole like purpose to my life. I also started playing guitar and bass. So I had some talent that gave me some confidence and all that. Um, then in high school, I, I like kind of lost who I was. I started list, I, I started thinking that I needed to study jazz. I don't I don't know why that happened. To this day I haven't figured it out. But and it just was so boring. And I'm not saying I don't like jazz. I kind of do, but it's also just like so boring. So I kind of lost my passion for music, but I and then after high school I kind of I kind of floundered for a couple years. But but then I went to the Berkeley College of Music and I rekindled my passion. I also refound I really I think that is when I became who I am was when I was enjoying my college experience at the Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. After that, I began teaching guitar and working just like worked at Starbucks and stuff and whatever it was fine. I was trying to make it as a professional musician. But that was not really doing it. Um, and I, I I, kind of did a little bit of floundering. Like fish from Little Mermaid. You know who I'm talking about. But then I joined the rock band Apathy, which was not a huge success. But I, but it, it was the like rock band experience that I, that I always dreamed of having. And we went on tour and we played big festivals and we recorded albums. And that kind of set me back on a on a path. I just hit myself in the face accidentally. This has been more than two minutes. And then I started teaching, then I bought a music store and then I started a YouTube channel. There, great, great story. Oh my goodness. What do you think about Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul? What are your favorite moments? Guys, Breaking Bad is one of my favorite shows of all time. And Better Call Saul? is better than Breaking Bad. My favorite moment is when Saul's, um, what's his real name? Jimmy's brother passed out and then seeing Jimmy's reaction to that where he was like horrified and just, but I, that, I just, that moment when Jimmy was watching from across the street and his brother blacked out and hit his head, just loved it. I love watching people black out and hit their heads, guys. Has anyone ever called you Stuart Little? Oh my God, yes. So, throughout elementary school, that's all anyone ever called me. Guilty pleasure song. At the moment, Chemical by Post Malone. I think it's a good song. Not a question, but tell us three random things about you. Okay, I wrote these down in advance. I don't know the difference between right and left. Like, legitimately. Uh, I love having nightmares and I, I hope to collect every Guardians of the Galaxy comic book, like every appearance, not just every Guardians of the Galaxy comic, but every comic where the Guardians of the Galaxy appear. I hope to collect it. I have, I'm like way more than halfway there. I have the first appearance. I have the reprint of the first appearance. I have the first appearance of Peter Quill, Star Lord. I've got. I have the first appearance of Rocket Raccoon. You guys, it's your favorite Harry Potter film. Uh, Order of the Phoenix is my favorite film. But Goblet of Fire is my favorite book. Harry Potter or Percy Jackson, Harry Potter. I know nothing about Percy Jackson. Favorite Lord of the Rings movie and character. Fellowship of the Rings is my favorite movie. Boromir is my favorite character. Favorite type of cheese and why? Munster cheese, probably because it sounds like monsters. How tall are you? This is what we've all been waiting for, guys. Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown of the Marine Music Center Guitar Channel is... Six foot one. Do you like the show Supernatural? I do. I do like it. Although I will say also with shows, this is, is this is embarrassing. Um, I haven't finished Supernatural. I also haven't finished Better Call Saul. I have a thing where when there's a show I really like, I don't like to finish it. I kind of leave the last three episodes. Do you guys see how sweaty I am? No harm intended, but I'm autistic and want to know if you are autistic too. I, I really don't think so. I don't think I'm autistic. I don't think I have ADHD. Like I've never, I've never had it like looked into. Um, so I guess there's no real way for me to know, but I, but I don't think so. One more question. Do you like orange juice? Yes. And no, I do like the taste of it, especially with a lot of pulp. I'm a, I'm a pulpy kind of guy, but I don't, I don't think I need all that extra sugar in my life, guys. And that's it. We've made it through the, through the thing. I'm gonna go take my dogs on a walk. Maybe I'll record a short little video of me on a walk. Probably not. That'd be stupid. Why would I do that?